Hello everybody and welcome back to Ixion, where last game we played, we were introducing ourselves to the systems, the people that are involved in it, all that kind of stuff. So this episode we're going to get a little bit more into it. We've made a good start of our internal systems, we've also made a good start of our science and our cargo ship that can now deal with stuff. So, let's get further into it and let's get some of these missions completed. Okay. So... We were waiting for this building to be built so that we could build the road. See, the road is almost built. Still can't build that there yet. There we go, now I can. Okay, let's get our other house in there. Right, that's going to complete our quarters mission, so we don't need to worry about anything now. It's going to reach two of the buildings there. It won't reach the third one just yet, but that's not a problem. We've got two stockpiles ready to go. And we decide what we're going to do with it. Let's go to our moon event. Summary of, of intelligence on the abandoned base. The base is out of commission. Auxiliary systems are operational and could be used to restore power. Transmission from the team. We have reached the UN base. It is abandoned and depressurized. The surveillance system is still operational, awaiting orders. So we can exploit the security vulnerability or we can dismantle the base. We can get the data, or we can get the resources. Let's go ahead and get the resource, uh, the data. That's going to continue. Okay. One thing you will also notice is this thing that says meal cycle. This thing I didn't pick up on at first, but basically, if you go into the mess hall, it serves food for up to 500 crew members every five cycles. So food cycles are only every five cycles. 50 food is used to serve 500 crew members. So you know for every 5 cycles, it's a 10 to 1 ratio. So at the moment, we're sat at about 79 crew. So if we say 100 crew, we know we need 10 food every 5 cycles. That means it gives us a bit of a safety barrier. We obviously only need 8, and it even states there we need 8. But we know that if we're around that number, we should be good to go. There's our housing nearly done. Let's continue our road at the bottom here. A science ship team has completed a task. Uh, I might add to bring it one up. Uh, bring it one up so it looks nice. There we go. Just so it looks nice. We don't, don't need to do much more than that. Uh, do I want to continue? That road's going to go down there. Just wondering if I want to keep this. No, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Well, one cycle event is done. We've got 10 science available. We hacked into the main computer systems as you ordered and retrieved several relevant research papers and data sets. We can now dismantle the base. In this option, we were able to then dismantle the base. Right. So you can see here, it also does keep you up to date. Science will be collected after the event's completed, so that'll all be excellent once we're done there. Right, let's go back into our internals. So we're still waiting for the uh, Resolve the Moon event. But well, there's still other bits we can do here. Let's get that collected. What I tend to do as well early on is I'll actually connect the roads up like so. Because this stuff here we can collect and give ourselves a bit more space. There we go. We've got a couple of stop paths. We may as well use them. We have them ready to go, and we're not waiting to collect them at a later stage. You can see our little construction bot's on his way around, doing stuff. Okay.
Let's have a look. One full, one nearly full. Let's get a third one operational. Let's keep it going. More to collect. There we go. A science ship team has completed a task. Okay, let's get this one up as a collection as well. There we go. So that's everything collecting. That's everything. I think that's everything anyway. Let's have a look. The moon event. So we've now got 30 metal and 90 science. Uh, although most equipment was damaged, we were able to prepare some usable resources for extraction. Excellent. As you can see now, our science ship, whilst it's in orbit of the moon, will collect the science for us. See it's going up there. However, the material we need to assign a ship to collect. You see now we've got resources available to collect. So let's send our ship, our cargo ship over there to collect. Collect science on the moon and build the tech lab. That's our next objective is to build the tech lab. For us to be able to build the tech lab, we do need some space. I don't think... No, that's a two. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move the mess hall one over. We only ever need one mess hall in this area if we work it right. But... I don't want to leave us short on food, so I'm just going to build a temporary one there for now. And then, this is how my system's going to look. I'm going to build a road along here. We're then going to connect it up to here. We don't need that extra one there for now. These little arrows here are what allows us to get to our next sector. So that's why I like to keep it available. We could cut the road down at a later stage, that's not a problem, but it just it gives us more accessibility and more speed to do things. Then I'm going to re remove this road here. Oh. And all I do is I just keep chopping up every now and then to make this road basically run that way around. Like so. And then what we do is these little external areas here, these go on the externals of here. They can't go on the internals. Okay, so we've got another mess all done. So we're not on a food cycle, so we can dismantle this building. You can see it'll use the secondary building for us instead. Hey, okay. just got 20 resources to collect that. There we go. Now, the only downside to collecting all of these resources is if you do want to dismantle the building, and if these are full, it won't dismantle the building because there's no room to put the resources. Um, however, we need to bring you down to here. We've got two more buildings there to, to build. Science ship has retrieved, retrieved all science, so that is that section complete. What we can do is we can send our science ship now over to Mars. Because we can see it's got a, got a mission for us there. So let's go ahead and get that on its way. There we go. So, as I said, we want to move the road one over. Like so. That is now done. Move that there. It'll reconnect itself shortly. We then want to rebuild our mess hall to here. And we should have everything going soon. Oh, 
What are we... Oh, we're building the other house there. We definitely don't have any problem with accommodation for a while, let's put it that way. We've got room for three more houses. There's stuff later down the line that we could do to improve on stuff, which is why we need our tech lab as soon as possible. Um, I can't remember how big our tech lab is. Tech lab is quite a big one. I think we're going to have it here, I think. What, do I build it there? I always build it there, I guess. Because there's only... It gives us three. We could do something with that. You see, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to basically take every last, last square inch of space I can. Because the one thing you'll find with a Tycoon Station is, is there's only so much space you have to work with. But obviously, once that runs out, you're then having to try and do things... To resolve stuff. Right, our replaced mess hall there is being built. That gives us another line for housing. Has arrived at its destination. Okay. Okay, the UN has established a facility on Mars. Its crew are currently lacking the materials required to repair a critical point in their oxygen supply system. They submitted an official request to Dolos for aid. We'll We'll repair the fault. There we go. To allow them to have some resources. Okay, that's rebuilt. Let's get rid of the old one. You can see we got all of our resources back as well, which is nice. We are actually, we're short on power supply. I think uh, the tech building will probably remove whatever power supply we have available our ships being loaded up with the resources that we requested and then it's off back out again right let's prepare our stuff you need to connect and we'll build a temporary road there We remove this road here. A little building bots on the tracks. You can see him there. Off he goes. Build more roads. Two more resources. I don't think we're going to get rid of all of this, actually. No, we can't. So what we'll do is, hmm, I could put the tech lab there for now. Let's put the tech lab there. I don't like putting it on that side because that's where I like to put all of my external equipment. But we should have space to do it. Right, let's speed things up a little bit. There we go. I used a lot of resources. That's yep, nearly on its way. A science ship team has completed a task. Okay, let's see what it's done. So we got 20 polymer for that. The oxygen supply system is repaired and the relationship between Dolos and our competitor has improved by 36%. Okay. So, there's a Saturn job there, so let's go and send our ship over to Saturn. See, that's our cargo ship there, and our science ship is on its way there. Excellent. Resources are being eaten up, so we're going to have to find an alternative soon. We do still have plenty of resources at the moment. Let's get our road fixed up. There we go. The road is fixed. Get rid of that, we don't need that. 
Once the last two are done, then we can start to look at having all that space, plenty of space, which we're going to need. I can tell you now the power supply is going to drop and we're going to need external power. To get external power, we need an airlock. Let's uh, speed things up a little bit. Tech lab will be built now. Okay, so whilst we wait for this, we can get some power back by dropping some. Uh, I think that's going to... Power restored. There we go. So we've got an event available and we've got a transmission. Let's have a look at what our event is. Reports are being received relating to the optimization... The barge bill claim optimization of protocol for both tackle indicate that crew members are being overworked, although Dulles employment contracts make it clear that a high degree of flexibility is required. This situation is beginning to take its toll on morale. It would be pragmatic to deploy additional crew members or reduce the number of currently active workplaces. We will request additional staff. Administrator, due to insufficient levels of electricity generation. Sector 1's power demand has overloaded. Stanford routines recommend that you construct an external solar panel to boost overall electrical output. Yep, we'll do that. So there's our Empower the Tycoon. Let's get our transmission. Greetings, Administrator. I'm Dr. Abhinav Munchi, Dolo's expert in compartmentalism and medicine, and a member of the Marduk Council. I'm glad to finally meet you, even in this digital manner. Your psychological test results were quite impressive. My friend and colleague, Philip Stanford, couldn't be here today. So I will take the role of introducing you to the final stages of the Vol engine integration. Before we get into that, however, we would like you to complete the testing station's exploration and enhancement capabilities. You'll then be able to begin researching the EVA airlock, and assess its compatibility with the Tycoon's core systems. I hope that the work of our team will ensure that you are equipped to deal with most situations you encounter up there. Before I leave you, Stanford would like me to remind you that space is a far less fanciful and forgiving environment than science fiction would have us believe. It would be wise to remember that. Okay, so we need to construct the Vol engine as well. Um, what you just saw me do there was access the technology tree, which is our new technology tree here. See, there are things on the external section that we will need to do. The inset farm allows us to produce food. Um, see, there it says, raises insects, converting them into one food after one cycle. So for every five cycles we need food, one inset farm will produce five food. So right now we need two insect farms to meet our requirements for the crew that we have. But we also need an EVA lock. So we're going to do an EVA lock, and then we're going to do the insect farm. We'll also need the probe launcher, which then will unlock the next level of research. Has arrived Each one of these also have upgrades that you can do as well, which we're going to need as we go along Alliance. Right. Science also produces waste as well, which we can do stuff with. You see, we've got to construct the Vol engine, which allows us to unlock the EVA lock, which we need anyway. Okay, let's get rid of that. Notifications tells us things that have happened. Oh, our science ship has arrived in Saturn as well. Here we go. Here we go. A signature trace from an EKP system has been detected near Saturn. EKP technology is the exclusive property of Dolos, but records indicate that the company has not deployed any mission to this sector. Signature will soon enter the atmosphere of Saturn. Um... Once the signatures pass through sentence, uh, we will analyze it. We'll send a team to investigate. Right. That's ready to go. That's ready to go. We need to... What we can do is we can actually prep the exterior. So, oh, we can't because we need the airlock first, don't we? That's a good point. Um, what I also want to do is I want to build... Another dock. Why is that? Oh, 
Oh, it's because the sign's there. That makes sense. I hope we can get two in here. we we'll find out. There's that EVA airlock. And then, can we get the docking bay? We can, because I'm going to remove that road. There we go. Remove that section of the road. So we'll lose the top section there, but it's no problem. We should be able to run. I'm thinking ahead of time, but it's fine. All right, let's close our notifications. That's probably going to take power from us. So what we're going to do is I'm going to disable this if we need power. But let's get the insect farm researching whilst that's building. Let's speed things up a little bit. There we go. Our little construction vessel is on its way to build it. Okay, science ship is done in Saturn. Prototype rocket sent by the UN seems to use a variation of EKP, which should be down and recovered. Okay. They'll collect the science for us. I don't think there's anything else for us to do while we're here. Okay. We are, what's this? Nine of the crew are starving. Uh, they hit the food sector just as we increased our crew. Let's, how many is that? 30, 60, 90 crew. So there should be also nine homeless. The insect farm has been unlocked. There we go. There's our power supply overloaded. That's fine. Power restored. We can now go to our external view. And we can now build our, our first solar panel set. That's fine. We can see that it'll start building the first lot of solar panels around the Tycoon Station. Which does make it look pretty cool. Uh, and then you've got various other sets you can build. So the station looks... And I like that as you go along. You got the second solar panel set, which goes along the other side, which kind of makes it look cool. We got our vol engine that we need to add at some stage, which we'll need to do soon, actually. Right. What have we got here? Food. So we're gonna need some insect farms. Just thinking how I want to do this. I'm wondering if I do that. How far out does... Okay, so it's to the... That one the That little grey sector. If I just... Can we then build... No, slightly over. We also can't build it lengthways either. Go that way. Can go that way. Okay, we'll do we'll do two food farms there. There we go. Not ideal, but it keeps us safe with space. We got options to build something here as well. That's going to help us with food production. Okay, we'll hope they will get food. Okay. Oh, we've got 
Let's just go to our external build. Let's set the uh, Vol engine to build. We've got more power, so let's increase our power supply. Tech Lab produces one science every 30 cycles. Let's get the probe launcher done. Okay. Oh, it's building my other dot. Oh, no, that's... That's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Let's bring online our buildings. That we have no housing issues. We don't need all of the housing, but I'm actually going to build... I don't like the gap. I've got that entire row there for housing as well. Later let down the line, we will have new housing that we can adjust things for. So, I think that's going to be us for this episode. We've got the Vol Station's engines being built. Uh, which we won't see just yet, but it basically fills up this section here, which is pretty awesome. We'll wait for that for the next episode. Uh, we can bring our ship back from Saturn, which I'm going to do. Um... We've also got the Ashabi, that's got some supply system stuff for us. We've got a lot to do, we've got specialization as well. So, you'll notice here, before we go, a sector becomes specialized in a discipline when it has a certain amount of buildings. Specializations give you bonuses that support the associated sector. See there. So that's something to look at for later. But, that's going to be it for this episode. We've done quite a bit. Um, I'm happy with how things are going. We've got science going. We've got our Vol engine nearly built. Uh, we're just, just under halfway for the Vol engine. Um, our internal systems are looking great. We're nice and you know, organized. And there's a little bit of work to do yet in various places. We've got a couple of gaps here that we can utilize at later stage. We are also producing our own food as well. And we're producing just the right amount of food for the population we have so we shouldn't see a decline in food um should just be about right so we're gonna have to look at producing another insect farm once we go down the route of increasing our population let's uh before we forget i'm just going to clear this road here because it's completely useless now so yeah, so that's going to be it for this episode. Let me know in the comments section if you've got any suggestions, ideas, or anything like that. If you just want to just say anything about the game, remember if you do want to get involved a little bit more with the game as well, best you do check out the description below for our details of the Discord, where you can jump in and chat about the game and any other games that we play. But until next time, everybody, take care for now, and I shall see you all on the next one. Bye-bye for now.